The church is family. And for Presidenta and I and our children, the church has become our family. Uh, for many, many years, uh, we were a thousand miles away from any family. And not having family for any of the holidays. And coming into a parish, um, not knowing a soul, the church became immediately family. When we arrived here, it's been eight years. It's been uh, it's an amazing blessing. Um, if you remember, two of our children actually came early uh, because of schools. And it was a, a family, a church family that we didn't really know that took in our children. And they even took me in until we found a place. And each day, each year, my family, we've grown closer to the Saints Peter and Paul Church family. As a priest, when you serve, it is very similar to the military. Um, we have a commander. The high priest is Jesus Christ. It's, it's his church. Sometimes priests, you know, we see beautiful icons and we think, oh, it's our church. It's not. A very wise priest have always told me the work we do is never for ourselves. It's always for the glory of God. And we have been so blessed that's almost 30 years in the church. And I've talked to many of you. Um, when you're in a church family, um, you don't know how long you'll be um, with the church family. Uh, you know our dear Father George Dokos um, had to leave for family reasons and then just recently was transferred. And it was very difficult, but as you know, our dear Father George, um, he serves the church with love and he's doing great with his family and his new church family. There's no easy way to say this. Um, we found out just recently uh, the bishop asked for a meeting and the bishop is transferring. Now, it's a reflection on you. Um, because you're a beautiful parish. And His Eminence loves you very much. And I'm going to share a part of the letter. The other section is more appropriate for the parish council, but a letter appropriate for today, because we just recently uh, were, were, I was informed, and he addressed it to Stephen, our parish council president, and the council members, and he asked me to read this. It's, the council received this letter yesterday, but I wanted, I wanted to personally offer the letter to you today. Um, beloved in the Lord, this letter comes to inform you that your priest, uh, Father Jordan, who has served our Lord's Church for many years, will end his assignment to the parish August 1st, 2022. This change must take place in order to increase the number of clergy in the metropolis and has nothing to do with your excellent work uh, that Father Jordan has done in your beautiful, very progressive parish. Please know that I will do my best to have a very faithful priest assigned to the parish for your spiritual growth and progress to continue for the glory of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who established His church through His supreme sacrifice on the Holy Cross for the salvation of His people for His eternal kingdom. In the meantime, should it be necessary, I will have a priest who will visit you on the parish on weekends and other special days to serve the needs of your dedicated parish. With fraternal blessings, Metropolitan Isaiah of Denver. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, um, I will be with you um, all of June. I will be leaving uh, tomorrow. I'm the camp director for our Metropolis Youth Camp but I'll be back by the end of the week. I'll be with you all of June, all of July, and I believe uh, my last Sunday will be the, the, the last Sunday in July. I know that His Eminence has been speaking with other priests. Uh, 
good priest um, to serve you and to love you. Um, very hard, very difficult. I feel blessed and I'm grateful that I'm not being shipped off out of state. Um, I'll be close by. Um, I'll be very close. And I'm grateful that I'm still with you in this holy metropolis. I love your children. I love all of you. And with our parishes, we've been so blessed. Uh, and I know we'll continue to do a lot together. Um, and I hope you'll visit me and Presidenta. Again, we won't be too far. Uh, we won't be too far away. Um, I'll be serving um, Cathedral of Denver. The Assumption Kimisis Teotob. Uh, big surprise, um, um, a great blessing, but also with great sadness. Um, because when you're in a parish, you think you're going to be there for many, many years, and then you get a phone call. Um, I thank you. I love you. I, I want to be with you as much as I can uh, this month and July. And again, I'm grateful that we're not too far uh, away. Um, I'm excited for our, our parish feast day, and it, it won't be my last feast day with you. Um, I look forward to coming to all the feast days, all the events bringing our parishes together. Forgive me. Um, I know the last few years uh, I'm not perfect. I've made a lot of mistakes. Um, I've worked hard to serve you. Maybe sometimes I move a little bit too fast um, because I love you and I care for this parish and I see this parish really, it's a, it's a gem. Um, it is uh, it's the beautiful light of Christ here in Boulder in the front range. And I, and I, I know in my heart I, what's going to happen to this parish. It's going to continue to grow um, with you um, because without the priest, uh, the priest can do nothing on his own. Can't serve a liturgy. The church, um, the priest, it is part of a church family, and you are an integral part of the church family. I think, and again, I'm not going to say goodbye. Um, you're you're stuck with me for a little longer, and um, I ask for your prayers um, and your support. And I'll I'll say more about it once I find out more details. I know. Uh, Again, I don't know, so if you ask me, I, I, I don't know the answer. Who's coming? Uh, but I, I will tell you, I, I've, been, I've spoken to His Eminence quite a few times uh, this week, and I, I know that He loves you very much, uh, and He's going to do everything He can. If He doesn't have a priest, He Himself will come here. That's how much He loves you, uh, which, wouldn't be a, which wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, I'm going to distribute the, the Holy Bread. Again, this is not goodbye. Um, and. Uh, this was very difficult. Um, God be with you, and God grant you and this beautiful church many, many years.